People know Josh Olin. He was the community manager for Treyarch for quite some time. World at War, uh, Black Ops 1, and maybe 2? How yeah, long? the first half of 2. All right. The good half of 2. <laughs> the good half. Yeah, the first half before, is always the good was, half. Yeah, before it was the worst thing ever to happen to mankind, right? I mean, that's the that's the cycle of, of the Call of Duty year, right? Is like when it comes out, it's the worst thing ever. And then when the next one comes out, it's like the savior. It's the perfect game ever. I used the to, last generation. I, I, and, and yeah, and, and before it comes out, it's at least as good, right? The excitement right, comes right, right. And, and that's faded a little bit. Now I think when new CODs are coming out, people say this is going to suck. Like, you know, it, it's gone all the way to some sort of inverse situation. CODs used to be great for a year, then for six months, then for three months. Now they suck before they even come out because they didn't meet some weird expectation. Heck, as a metric, I could point to the dislike ratio on this one, right? They were, not... mad, they were mad at COD before it was even released. Did you notice, like, patterns, like, after the release, you'd see, like, you know, the January happiness, and every year around, like, March 15th you started to get like a chill like you could feel the hate incoming like oh people are starting to really dislike this game like did you yeah. peg that down to a part of the year like oh it's march get ready for for it to all to go to shit i think reddit even had uh, this really funny infographic that they circulated which was just the circle of the call of duty life and it was spot on i mean it was exactly the way that uh that that whole system works and you're not wrong at all woody either like l lately especially like it came sort of to a, a fever pitch with infinite warfare it, it's sort of been flipped upside down and now the, the the lead up hype is almost uh you know they don't give the game the benefit of the doubt anymore and i actually talked to charlie intel a little bit about this um a few weeks ago they had me on the show uh, pd had me on his show and it was uh you know i had mentioned that i think part of that is just the the Activision hype machine uh, in the marketing machine, even where it's like, you know, for a long time, Call of Duty had this perfect formula and, and it worked great. And it it really did maximize that hype train buildup for a long period of time. But then that became so the norm, I think, that for a lot of people, they started to tune out that message a little bit or they started to just not believe it as much anymore. So I think that what you're probably going to see moving forward is a, a, a bit of a change up with how even just how the games are being marketed and, and the, the various release cadence and hype cadence that they use um, during the pre-release.